Hi, Lindsay here. I'm going to show you how I took one of my school papers. I'm a student in a doctoral program, and I had ChatGPT turn it into a PowerPoint with bullets for me so I could quickly present it as part of a semi-formal program in my doctoral program. So quick background, I work part-time at Arizona State University, and ASU was the first university to get a chat GPT enterprise account. Here it is. First partnership with a university. I thought that meant everyone is going to get a license. Not the case. They actually launched this AI innovation challenge where you had to submit a proposal so you could get a license for three months and uh, work with it and provide a report on your project. Long story short, I submitted, I got a license. My colleague and I both got a license so we can work on a project together as part of our jobs there. Meanwhile, I'm testing it in a lot of other ways to see what's possible using ChatGPT, both for my doctoral studies, my professional life, and as part of my uh, work project. So what's really cool is its ability in ChatGPT4 as part of the uh, paid account is that it can accept documents and it can produce documents. So you can upload things, you can ask it to create things for you based on that information. So I had a semi-formal evening kind of conference as part of my doctoral program. I'm in the Doctor of Education program at ASU. And I was going to be presenting my project in order to get feedback on it from my classmates and from a professor. Now I have this long paper here. Let me pull this up. It's um, nine pages long, including references. It's already very neatly formatted. What I did was, this is automatic habit for me because I'm, I'm very invested in accessibility and all the tools that make you know accessibility generally make your life easier as well. So I use styles in Microsoft Word to style this document. And so everything's already heading one and heading two. And this is APA format, by the way. So if you aren't using styles in Microsoft Word, you should. It'll make your life easier if you're doing APA. So this is my neatly laid out document. And I know the content and I could go through this myself and turn it into a PowerPoint. It's relatively short. It's only actually like seven, ooh, not even like six pages of content. But you know what? I have other things to do. I didn't feel like doing this myself. So here's what I did. I wondered if ChatGPT could help me out and it could. What I did was I uploaded this document. I'm gonna just drag and drop that in and I gave it a prompt. And I said really simply, and this isn't the best prompt in the world, but it ultimately worked. I just said, please create a PowerPoint with a slide for each of the major headings. That's heading level one in that document that I gave you. So again, it was already really neatly formatted as a document. And I just want each slide to only contain information just in bullet form for that section. Because again, I'm going to be presenting this in about 10 minutes to my peers. And I just want to make sure it's, it's short and sweet and presentable. So that's all I gave it. It takes a moment to process the document. It pulled the major headings out really quick. Now it's analyzing. It's going to create PowerPoints for me. Now I am a little nervous. It says I'm going to create a PowerPoint slide. Oh, for each of these headings. Okay, that should be fine. We'll give it a moment to create that slide deck. Okay, let's see how it did. So now you have to download it. And here's kind of the semi-annoying part is you have to download it every time to look at it and you have to see how it turned out so they can give chat gpt feedback this is pretty good so you can see there's a slide for each section but i don't like how each slide is one sentence i prefer for this to be multiple bullet points that really outline it and maybe give a little bit more detail so what i'm going to do is tell chat gpt that so here's my prompt, I'm asking it to revise. It'll think on that. And now this is one of the really important things I'm learning about ChatGPT is that you need to ask it for revisions. You need to be, I went to an open AI webinar yesterday. They say you need to be a leader and you need to tell it exactly what you want and direct its work, not just accept it. All right, so it did make me bullet points. I want those in a PowerPoint.
All right, so I asked it to put those bullet points into a slide deck. Because again, I'm not about to be copying and pasting information. Again, I know my, my part well, but I'm trying to save time here, not create more work for myself. All right, here we go. Let's see what it has now. Here we go. That's pretty good. Now it did do something kind of funky. <laughs> it did put in these dashes. It didn't do that before the first time I tried this. But um, as I'm browsing through, I am pleased with what it did here. Now, if I wanted to, I could ask it, you know what, make these bullet points shorter. I think this is fine. I would have to go through and um, delete all of these things, um, which is a little bit annoying that ChatGPT did that. But I could probably do a control F and, and take care of that pretty quickly. Now, you'll notice, um, besides that, that little typo in every single uh, bullet point, it's in a four by three ratio. For some reason, it seems to be the default for ChatGPT. I haven't yet explored to see if I could get a different 16 to nine ratio. So far, what I'm finding is that ChatGPT isn't very good at producing slide decks. There's other products out there that might be a better fit. But I do like that it, it crunched my information really well here. But I don't like this size, and I want to put it into my own PowerPoint template with my own theme. So let me pull up uh, my theme that I want to use. And I can copy all of these slides here. So select the slides, copy that, pop over here. Ta-da! All these actually look perfect. I didn't have to fix the bullet points. So now you can see that the bullet points have magically fixed themselves. And every section, again, based on heading level one, is its own slide with those bullet points. So at this point, all I have to do is, you know, Edit, always, always, always edit. If you're going to be using ChatGPT, be sure that you're happy with the output and you're not just producing it as is. This is still your work and it's still representing you. This is a tool that you've used, so make sure the output is how you want it. Um, another thing you can do is you can ask ChatGPT for good titles for your study, because I'm just, I always get stuck in titles. So I'm gonna ask it, that's my last question here. So it came up with one title. It's fine, it's a little long. Please come up I asked it to come up with five more to choose from. Yes, I love this. It's probably one of those funny things that I really struggle with as a pseudo academic is trying to come up with titles for all my scholarly works here. So these are pretty good. And again, remember, it's just a process of asking ChatGPT to revise, try it, see if it works. If it doesn't, ask it. You also notice I'm very, I'm very polite to ChatGPT. I'm not sure if that makes a, a difference or not. But I for one, am going to make sure our robot overlords are happy with me when they take over the world. Okay, so I'm future prepping here. So that is it. Um, let me show you my final product again. So I can choose, let's, let's choose one of these um, titles. Navigating the Virtual Shelf, sure. What a great librarian title. I can pop that in here. Probably reset the slide, make it look a little bit nicer. But in any case, you can see here that I am done. This was what, how long a video, five minute video? And I have this 10 minute presentation that is an outline of my paper already done and ready to go. Um, again, I should note that it's important to make sure that whatever context using ChatGPT in, make sure it's a-okay with whoever's in charge there. My program is okay with this as long as we tend to give, um, as long as we give credit for ChatGPT usage. For my context for this uh, particular presentation, it was just a casual evening conference, so it wasn't really um, a high stakes environment because I wasn't turning this into anybody, I was just presenting the information, so this is a very good usage for that. But in general, be sure you're citing ChatGPT. There are sources on the web that guide you in how to cite ChatGPT in APA format, for instance. Be really clear about what's your work and how you use ChatGPT to help you produce a better work. I hope this was helpful to you and I would love to hear about how you are using ChatGPT.